And you? They must be flocking. Yeah. Well, that's got to feel pretty good. Frank Hollis made me an offer. Yeah? But so did Matt Santos. Well, he has to. No. It's a serious offer. He made me an offer. He made Arnold Vinnick an offer. The Secretary of State. He did not. He did. Wow. That might be the smartest thing he's ever done. Impressive, huh? Well, you'd be a get, too. Are you going to do it? Mm. Probably. I... I don't know. It's um, complicated. Why? Danny Cannon. Yeah, I heard something about that. We've been spending time together, which is perfectly nice, but he's getting way ahead of himself. I mean, I'm not ready to shape my life around a guy I've been with for a month. It doesn't make sense. You didn't pick him up in a bar last Thursday. You've been closed for eight years. But it doesn't mean it magically falls into place once we take the leap. What? I'm not resisting. You're not? I'm not one of those women who can't handle a good thing when it's standing in front of them. Good. Why don't you sound convinced? You spend your whole life working for powerful, demanding men 24-7. That's a lot of testosterone in your world. Which is what to do with anything. Wow, well, maybe you didn't need to date. You had Josh and Sam and me and 180 reporters flirting with you day in and day out. Come on. It's a lot of positive male attention. Now you're sliding in Matt Santos, maybe Frank Hollis? So what, you think this is all some sort of Freudian temper tantrum? You showed up here at 8 o'clock at night with a bottle of wine asking me about a pardon we both know is out of the question, telling me about a man who's crowding you. I think a lot of things. You think I came here to take advantage of you before they cart you off to the big house? I think you don't know why you came here. You're a woman with a lot of options. You're acting like the world's backing you into a corner, bouncing from one thing to the next, from Bartlett to Santos to Danny to me. Maybe you should stop bouncing, pick something. What do you want? I don't know. I'd like to learn how to make a chicken like that. Stick a lemon up it and throw on some rosemary. Yeah? Yeah, a little salt. I'd like to learn how to ski. I think that would be soothing. Be a ski bum, operate the ski chair for six months, clear my head. It's a chair lift. Well, first I'd learn the lingo, take it from there. <laughs> I missed you. For asking about the pardon. Of course. No, not of course. You didn't have to. Thank you. 